What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm going to show you how 808 slides, glides, whatever you want to call them, work in Live 11. Now, the beta is what I'm using. It's like December 16th, whatever. So, definitely keep in mind, it might be different than the final release, and it might be different than a future beta. I'm just giving you a preview of what the workflow will look like for those of you considering upgrading to Live 11 or even considering switching to FL Studio. All right, let's get straight into it. Okay, dope. So I'm in Ableton Live 11 right now, and I'm gonna show you the workflow for the 808s. If you're considering uh, getting FL Studio 20 for your, you know, trap beats, hip hop, 808s, you know, UK glides, all that stuff, um, dope. And if you're thinking about getting Ableton Live as well, then I'm gonna show you what to do and how the workflow works because I know there's tons of videos showing you how to do it in FL, but none in Live 10. Or Live 11, because Live 10 kind of sucks as far as the slides go. It's dope, but it's a, it's it's not as easy as FL. All right, let's go. All right, cool. So I'm going to take this pattern and add some slides to it. And this is what the workflow will look like. So in Live 10, we didn't have the ability to set the scale. You did have this fold option. And you could set the scale that way if you did a little work around. But now we have the ability to highlight the scale and set it to whatever we would like to set it to. And there's a lot of different scales we could set it to. All right, dope. So here, this first note, I'm not going to slide. But I'm going to slide these two downwards. So what you could do is come to this little third window right here. Or you can hit option three. So these windows correspond to option one, two, and three. So option one, two, and three. And the third window, you can draw your slides for your notes. So uh, if I want to put a slide here, bring it down. Let's actually uh, create two points. So the second slide will bring this one down to about, bring it down an octave. And let's drag this over a bit. And I'm holding down Command on a Mac so I could get uh, the exact semitone amount. Or the, well, otherwise, I'll get decimals. If I hold down command, I'll get the exact amount and I'll also be able to snap to the grid. All right, so let's do one here as well. Add in uh, two points, one to the beginning, and you might end up doing your workflow a little bit different. Um, there's a million ways to, to do things, of course, but this is how I'm gonna show you in this video. And we'll go down to this one, this note. All right, cool. So you could also slide up. So I could take this note right here. I'll add a, a point here so it stays and a point here. And let's uh, move it up an octave. So I'm going to add some rolls over here to this area. Uh, there are rolls here already. I mean, uh, slides. So let's take these. I want it to go. So I'm actually going to bring these back up. Oh, my goodness. It could get a little tedious uh, switching around, so I'm just going to hit option and move it up an octave. Um, so I wanted to go A sharp, sorry, G sharp, A sharp, and then D sharp. And then I'm going to hit option three again to get to the slide window and slide it down. All right, so cool. Another note here. Let's slide it down. All 
right, cool. And then this last one, go ahead and add another point and another point and let's bring it down. And you can also add curves to the slide. So if we come back, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. That one, this note right here. So we can add a curve. If we hold down option, we could curve it up or down. So let's hear what it sounds like. Curve all the way down. So it's a lot slower. Whereas this one, if we curve it up, you can hear how we can control the speed of the slide by curving it in addition to moving these points. So honestly, that's all I wanted to show y'all for this tutorial, just the basic workflow of how the new Glide feature works in Ableton Live 11. I know it's kind of archaic and there's only a few videos out there about it. Not archaic in a sense where it's old, kind of is, but it's new to Live 11 and there's not much information on it. So that's how you get it done in Live 11. It is kind of slow, um compared to fl studio in my opinion but i'm also not well versed in doing it just yet so that's there's not to say that i won't get faster and there might be a better workflow when it is finally released as for now i do think it is kind of clunky and tedious to work with the notes and dragging them all over the place and creating slides and trying to add notes while you're doing this is also a pain um but hey we'll see what happens it's all culture, kickback, cookup. Most definitely let me know what you would like to see next.